Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I'm working on a Rochester Monojet one barrel carburetor and I want to explain the idle system on it a little bit so that if you're having idle problems uh, you uh, will have a better idea of what to look for. Uh, first of all, uh, when you have your carburetor part and you're cleaning it, make sure these two holes are, are uh, open. Uh, this is your idle tube and you want to make sure that that's clear. It's a very small orifice. So blow through it. Also this hole here, a uh, vent. Uh, let's see, so all that all that matters. And then uh, down here, you've got your idle hole, mixture hole right here. This is where your idle mixture comes through. And it is uh, regulated by idle mixture screw. Okay, you take that screw clear out. Make sure the hole is clear. Uh, look at your screw and make if see if it's damaged. Uh, people that uh, screw it in too hard uh, will uh, damage the screw right here. It'll put a groove in it, and if so, you'll have to replace it. Otherwise, run your screw through a wire, wire bead machine, and uh, it'll clean it up. Okay. And uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, you're uh, so you have an off idle slot in here. See it right down here, barely exposed with the throttle valve closed. What this for is is it gets you between idle and the time that the accelerator pump circuit takes over. There's a little bit of a gap there where you'll need a little bit more air fuel mixture, and that's what that's for. As the throttle valve opens up, it exposes that slot and lets a little more air fuel mixture in. You can see it right there. And that's what that's for. Make sure that's clear. If you're getting a little bit of off idle hesitation, that's probably the problem. You need a little bit extra until accelerator pump, accelerator pump takes over. Okay, so uh, adjusting the idle, make sure the car is at, uh, after it's on the car, uh, excuse me, initially adjust this a turn and a half to two turns out and on the car warm it up to operating temperature adjust your idle here to get it to idle RPM and then uh, uh, put a vacuum gauge on uh, say this port right here to get a vacuum reading and just adjust your idle about a quarter turn at a time till you get the, a very steady vacuum reading or a good steady idle uh, if you turn in, turn in the screw or turn it out and it's not making any difference then you have uh, possibly a vacuum leak or a plug passage most likely most likely it's a plug passage okay so that pretty much covers uh, the idle system except you might have a uh, an extra part here inside your bore here which is uh, the timed vacuum port for an EGR that's on later model mono jets and it'll be uh, just behind the uh, throttle valve here so if you see something like that, uh, that's what that's for. And it's just on the later model. So this one doesn't have one. Okay? So I hope that helps you with your idle. And thank you for watching.